Hello viewers, I am Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest. This is the part 5 of our Samsung Galaxy Note 2 tips and tricks videos. Let us get started and show you some of the most useful tips of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Pop-up browser is one of the most interesting features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Let me quickly show you a demo. Ford Fiesta Automatic Review I just ran a voice search and as soon as I click on a link it opens it in a pop-up browser so what it helps me doing is that while I am inside uh, one application it opens the query or the browser in a pop-up if I like I can increase it in size by making it full screen by pressing the arrow here or I can continue with my search on the previous screen Since Galaxy Note 2 is quite large in size, you may find it straining to type with one hand as you have to move your thumb from the extreme right to left corners of the screen. To solve this problem, you can simply enable one-handed operation. For that, you have to go to Apps Settings. In Settings, you have one-handed operation over here. In this, you can just enable it on the Samsung keyboard. What it does for you is that it will keep the keyboard on one side of the screen. So what you can simply do is that you can type more easily as the keyboard is actually shifted. There is an arrow key with which you can easily switch the places of the keyboard. Just like this. It is very easy to organize and keep pictures in folders in the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. You can simply open any folder, see the content. If you want to move these images to some new folder, you can tap here to add a new folder. I call it a test folder I press OK and I can select some pictures which I want to place here and all the selected pictures can be easily dragged to this new folder so I get all these pictures here quite easily there are some interesting motion controls which you can enable by going to settings and motion settings one of them is the tap to zoom you keep two thumbs onto the screen while a picture is open in the gallery and you just move it and when you move the screen the image will zoom in and zoom out as per the motion of the device multi window view is a very interesting feature of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 in which you can run multiple application on the split part of the screen say you are checking your updates on the Facebook wall and you want to open some other application to check some more uh, stuff so just long press here and what you see here is a list of applications which you can add or remove and say you want to write an important email while you check the updates you just long press here and drag it here in top half or bottom half of the screen where you want to place it so what I get is another application here which is running in multiple screen so the above window is working on one application the below window is working on another one say I want to switch the places just click in the center there is a bar over here and you get this button which switches the place of the applications so this is quite interesting and you can run multiple applications using this you can also tilt the phone and the view will be automatically twisted from the portrait to landscape mode in this section I'm going to show you the camera modes of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 so what you can do with this camera application is that you can use the front and rear camera and you can switch them by clicking this button here so right now we are using the rear camera this is the flash button where you can set the flash to be on or off or auto mode auto mode is best because it will decide based on the uh, light settings whether it has to use the flash or not so as you see in this case it clicked the picture without flash because the light around the objects was quite ample the next button here gives you shooting modes this is the single shot mode which is the default mode best photo modes clicks a number of photos and selects the best one out of it the best face mode will recognize which is the best face or the smiling face and it will keep that shot and re discard rest of them face detection modes keeps track of the faces inside the pictures panorama mode is for continuous shooting of a particular landscape share shot is a shot in which you can 
connect with other Galaxy devices and whenever you click a picture it will be shared with other devices which with which you are taking a share shot HDR is high dynamic range shooting in which it will take multiple shots and combine them in layers to give the best color outputs Buddy Photo Share will enable you to share the pictures through multiple applications Beauty Shot increases the smoothness in the picture Smile Shot clicks the picture whenever someone smiles in the camera while the person is facing the camera Low Light Shot is for the places where you cannot fire flash but you have to click pictures in limited light conditions there you can use the low light let me get back to the single shot mode in the settings you can change some other settings like burst shot you can use the volume key for zooming you can turn this feature off by clicking here or you can use the camera key for zooming etc you can change the resolution of the pictures that you take by clicking the resolution here you can shoot in 8 megapixel 6 megapixels 3.2 2.4 and up to the VGA which is 640 by 480 you can also manually select the ISO which is by default set in automatic mode we recommend you to keep it in auto mode unless you know how to use the ISO settings properly the metering setter settings here allow you to set the focus modes the way in which the f object or the people in front of the camera will be focused you can turn on the anti shake feature which will reduce the shake in the camera by digitally minimizing it you can also enable the GPS tagging or the geo tagging feature by clicking on the GPS tagging and you can turn it on but this way it will use the location services and the battery consumption will increase you can switch to the video mode by clicking the button here you swipe it down and in camera mode you can also enable or disable the flash by clicking here you can turn the front camera or you can switch between the front and rear camera by clicking this button here in the camera settings you can set a normal recording mode limit for MMS slow motion or fast motion videos in the scenes you can select the kind of effects that you want to put in it you can make it blue point red yellow point etc so you can give it lot of pre-configured effects from this going into the video settings you can select the effects flash zoom op options this the recording resolution which can be selected from a full high definition to part high definition which is 720p right up to 320 by 240 which is the low resolution mode you can select the white balance manually here it is by default set into automatic mode you can enable anti shake for your videos to make them more smooth and you can geo tag your videos by enable the GPS tagging in the settings when you are in the video mode and don't worry if you mess up with any of the camera settings just go to the settings scroll to the bottom and there is an option to reset when you press reset all the camera settings will be reset to the factory or default mode this is the end of part 5 we hope you find the tips very useful do subscribe to our official youtube channel by pressing the subscribe button below this is Rohit Khurana signing off thanks for watching